Hello, I'm John Ballin, the Vice President of Engineering at Valmatic Valve, and would like to welcome you to the Valmatic R&D Laboratory, where we will be demonstrating two types of air cushion check valves in one of our water flow loops. The flow loop consists of a battery of pumps that pump water from a 1,000 gallon storage tank through various test lines to a 400 gallon hydrodynamic tank, which we can pressurize up to 150 PSI. Today we have the flow loop configured to do side-by-side -side check valve testing. The check valves are mounted in two parallel pipes using the same type of pipe fittings so that they see identical flow and pressure conditions. The flow velocity would be measured using a digital flow meter. The pressure can be seen on the pressure gauge and will also be recorded using a pressure transducer and a laptop computer. The laptop computer records the pressure at about a rate of 100 times per second. As we pump water into the closed tank, the water level will rise, compress the air in the tank, and increase the static pressure in the line. The first valve we will test is a four inch swing check valve equipped with a lever, weight, and conventional air cushion. A conventional air cushion is designed to draw free air into the bottom of the cylinder and vent air out the top of the cylinder as the valve opens. Then, when the valve closes, the release of the compressed air in the lower cylinder is controlled using a flow control valve on the bottom cylinder port. A conventional air cushion works very similar to the air cylinder on your storm door at home. As the door opens, air is drawn into the air cylinder, and then when the door closes due to the force of the spring, the compressed air cushions the closure of the door so that it does not slam. The second valve is a Valmatic swing check valve, which is also equipped with a lever, weight, and air cushion. They look the same, but the Valmatic high-performance air cushion works differently than the conventional air cushion that I just described. When the Valmatic valve opens, the air in the top of the cylinder is not vented. In fact, the air gets pressurized and is forced open by the forward water flow. At the same time, free air is drawn into the bottom of the cylinder. When the valve closes, the pressurized air in the top of the cylinder accelerates the closure of the check valve so that it can close before a significant amount of reverse flow can develop. To demonstrate the effect, we will first pump water through the conventional check valve and into the hydropneumatic tank. When the pressure reaches 80 PSI, a pressure switch on the tank will trip the pump, then in a fraction of a second, the air in the tank will stop the flow, reverse it rapidly back toward the check valve. So let's start the pump. You can see the valve opening, the flow is about 9 feet per second, and the pressure is building. You can see the pressure reached 80 PSI and the pressure switch automatically tripped the pump and slammed the valve closed. Looking at the laptop results, we can see that the pressure surge was about 90 PSI over the static pressure in the tank. Also, the valve closing time was about 0.67 seconds. The reason we heard a slam is because the water flow reversed and went backwards through the valve before it closed. Then when the valve closed suddenly, it stopped the reverse flow almost instantly, causing the water hammer. The solution to preventing slamming in this type of check valve is to get it closed before that reverse flow can develop. Unfortunately, a conventional air cushion tends to slow down, not speed up the closure of the valve. This allows the reverse flow to increase and then when the reverse flow pushes violently on the disc, the air in the cylinder is compressed and therefore cannot prevent the disc from rapidly closing and causing a slam. As we learned, the Valmatic High Performance Air Cushion operates on a different principle, where pressurized air makes the valve close faster. We will now pump water through the Valmatic Swing Check Valve equipped with the High Performance Air Cushion. Again, when the pressure reaches 80 PSI, the pressure switch on the tank will trip the pump. Then, in a fraction of a second, the air in the tank will stop the flow, reverse it rapidly back toward the check valve. Let's start the pumps. You see the valve opening and the pressure building. You saw the pressure reach 80 PSI and the pump automatically tripped, but in this case, there was no audible slam. Looking at the laptop results, the check valve this time produced a surge pressure of only 30 PSI over the static pressure in the tank. 
which as we heard was virtually silent. Its closure time was 0.37 seconds versus 0.67 seconds for the conventional check valve. Because it closed faster, it had no slam. So we saw that the Valmatic High Performance Air Cushion closes the swing check valve faster than a conventional air cushion, which reduces the check valve slam. These check valve demonstrations mimic common applications in the field, such as when multiple pumps are used to deliver water, or the pump station is protected from surges with a hydropneumatic tank. In both of these cases, the flow reversal will be rapid and most check valves will slam. When using a swing check valve in these cases, it is important for the accessory devices to close the valve rapidly before the reverse flow can develop. A Valmatic High Performance Air Cushion should be specified. Thank you for your interest in Valmatic products.